Welcome to Science, Health and Healing, Library of Children's Health Core. I'm Dr. Majid Ali. The subject of this article is 13% higher blood creatinine level among Africans. The laboratories now publish this comment, caution, in the reports that when you look at the creatinine blood test results, creatinine, C-R-E-A-T-I-N-I-N-E, is the single best test for the health and the function of kidneys. Normal value is one. Usually, nephrologists tell their patients that they need dialysis when the creatinine value goes up to seven, eight, or nine. They do not tell when the creatinine is rising from one to two to three to four because they believe that kidney disease is not reversible. That is a damning indictment of their knowledge because the New England Journal of Medicine in 2003 itself published a paper that creatinine can be lowered when you do EDTA chelation to remove lead from the body. There are many other articles and of course our group has also published clear evidence that kidney disease can be reversed. Let me come back to the title of this program. Why is the blood creatinine value considered normal when it is 13% higher in Africans compared with other racial groups? The science behind them, this observation, is just sheer nonsense. You know what we should really be looking at? That every slight increase in blood creatinine value tells you that there is stress on the kidney. There is compromised blood circulation to the kidneys. There is decrease in the oxygen supply, nutrient supply to the kidneys. So when the laboratories arbitrarily keep changing the values, I am a, I'm a pathologist for 29 years. I worked in a hospital. I directed a laboratory. Let me tell you how it works. Laboratory will take, let's say, samples from 100 patients who they are told they are normal by their doctors they will do a particular test. They apply a statistical method, the two standard deviation, blessed two standard deviation method, and then anybody who is outside this, they will call them abnormal. I think that when your creatinine goes from one to 1.5, you have lost 50% of the kidney function test. How do you know? Because when you remove one kidney, let's say for cancer in a person, whose normal value is one, creatinine level does not change. Indeed, if the, sec if the one half of the remaining kidney is removed, it still doesn't change. This is a crucial subject that everybody should really think about thoughtfully, and especially the children, African-American children, and the children of people of African descent any place in the world. There is a companion article on this encyclopedia, and that's labeled just that, creatinine, C-R-E-A-T-I-N-I-N-E. There's also another article, EGFR. GFR stands for glomerular filtration rate. This is actually a computed value. It's really a non-test, but there is a program you might also want to watch that. There are several other programs on reversal of kidney disease. The more programs on this encyclopedia that you can watch, the more you will begin to see my basic argument that saying that creatinine value 13% higher in Africans compared with other racial groups should be considered normal or physiological. That's nonsense. We know that African Americans in general have a higher risk of hypertension, 
they have a higher risk of insulin toxicity. They have a higher risk of almost every known disease of childhood. Type 2 diabetes, obesity is much higher in incidence among African Americans than most other ethnic groups. So rather than recognize that for socioeconomic or historical reasons, the African children are at a greater risk of stress on the kidney, what do the laboratories do? They arbitrarily, without any scientific basis, adjust upward the reference range. So they will report this value, which is higher, clearly abnormal, indicating kidney stress, and that yet they will say, but if you are an African child, it's normal for you. Children's Health Foundation was funded and founded by Talat, my wife and I, some years ago. Our mission and region is to provide authentic information to people all over the world, children and their parents, grandparents, teachers, as well as public health policymakers. You can support our vision by forwarding this YouTube segment to your email, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, or other social media contacts. Should you wish to do more, we invite you to visit our website, www.kids123.org. Or you can just Google the question, how can I help, and then add kids123. Or we just kids123, and Google will take you there. We invite you to participate and enhance this program for children all over the world. Until you meet again, may you be gracious, graceful, and generous in your spirit. Thank you so much.